All right, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this one is on the, uh, well, it's still about the slice procedural mesh. However, um, we're gonna go through a more of a refactored setup that I that I came up with with the help of a Lento. Um, also, <sighs> Mac's still a little bit off, or a little wonky sometimes, but anyways, this is the result that I'm able to do now. It will cut and then go here and cut again. Cut here. Um, cut. Now if you notice the whole left right thing, nah, doesn't have, I don't need that anymore. I'm now able to cut whatever the heck I want whenever I want. And now I cut the one in the back too. Cut, cut. Cut in a half. Cut that thing this way, cut, bam. Uh, like I said, the map is still a little bit off. There's something not right. Um, and I try to do this in VR. However, um, yeah, something, <laughs> I'm not sure if th there's gotta be something else that I'm missing for VR because it's just not working correctly. It's just not cutting exactly how it should be cutting. Uh, let's cut right through the middle. Bam. All right, here's a setup. And if you followed the first series, um, the first tutorial, then this setup will be nothing really. So this is inside the first person character. All I did was literally, <laughs> I gutted this whole thing. Um, nothing's being used, not used anymore. And I transferred the creation of the procedural mesh though into a uh, construction script where it should be, should have been in the first place. And other than that, that's all that is to the script. Um, all I did really was um, change the scale. Now that it's in construction script, I was able to change it. Uh, if I went back to the first person character and literally this is the whole setup. This is it. There we go. Um, so, I'm just using this line trace to get a reference to procedural mesh component instead of the actor. And what that does is I'm able to now just use, um, just slice anything I want instead of just getting the actor, which I was doing before. So that's probably why, um, well, that's how you do it anyway. So you can use, so you can get uh, all of the actors, or sorry, all the, um, sliced meshes that come out of it. Um, as you can see, I didn't promote it, but you don't have, I mean, you can, you can use it, whatever, however you want. Probably use some kind of explosion or some kind of sound or whatever. Uh, attach it to the sliced meshes if you want. But this is it. This is really all it takes. Just get, uh, get, you know, do a line trace, simple line trace. Cast to procedural mesh component. Use that as the end proc mesh, and then use this knife, uh, world location, and uh, play normal uh, up vector. Uh, it should, and then, okay, so create other half. If you don't have create other half, this is what happens, which I meant to go over it last time. Bum, 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 bum. And slice, slice, slice. Slice, slice, and slice. So pretty much everything on the left is dying. Um, oops, anyway. That's uh, kind of warning. Yeah, okay. So obviously you can't simulate physics if there's not nothing getting created, right? So that's the error that I'm getting. Since I'm not creating anything, it's just going away. I'm not able to do any of this. Um, so slice comes up anyway. So uh, that happens there. Um, no cap, obviously. Okay, so I still created half. And let's see what happens. Bam, slice, slice, slice. Oh, that's it. There's no cap, which kind of looks ridiculous, right? I mean, I'm sure there's a use case for it, for a reason. And finally, I'll use last cap section. Slice, slice, slice. 
that's that. So use last cap section is a good question. I don't know what it's really doing. I think it's just using oh, I think it's just using the inside. Or uh let's see. Keep this one. I'm still using that. I have no idea which one what that does. I kept geometry exists in last section, but it doesn't use the um, kept geometry. No idea what that really does. Sorry. Because obviously we got this. This is easy. That's just adding. That's just adding the cap material that I added. And then use last section of cap. What it could be doing is using the whole uh, procedural mesh as the cap. Uh, that could be it. I'll have, to, I'll have to figure that out. Um, but I'll do that as an annotation. I just want to get this one out. Uh, if I figure out the whole virtual reality one, I'll do it. It's going to be on my vibe. But yeah, there's um some kind of math. I mean, you figured out of there's something, some something wonky. It's not working for me anyway. Slice, slice, and slice. Oops. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. It. I was having too much fun there. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this short video, and uh, you've gotten something out of it. Again, have some fun.